come with me to the rolling sea while the weather's calm and still. And we'll have some fun and laughter with the adventures of Portland Bill. This is my lighthouse on the Guillemot Rock. Now, from time to time, Cromarty likes taking up new hobbies. And his latest craze was bird watching. Ugh, not a duck or a gull in sight, he cried. Nor even an albatross. What are you doing, Cromarty? asked Ross. Uh, I'm bird watching. Trouble is, there are no birds to watch. Are you sure? said Ross. Can I have a look? Now, the lads were so busy looking for birds that they didn't see the one right under their very noses. A whopping great penguin. It waddled right past them into the lighthouse, knocking over Ross's bucket of water on its way. Ah, well, it's no good, sighed Cromarty. There's not a bird for miles. I'm going in to make a cup of tea. And so off he went to put the kettle on, leaving Ross searching for birds. Suddenly he saw the mess the penguin had made when it knocked over the bucket. Well, of course he blamed Cromarty, so he raced upstairs shouting all the way. Cromarty, I've been washing the steps all day, and now you knock over my bucket and leave dirty footprints everywhere. It wasn't me. I didn't knock over your bucket, Ross. You did. I didn't. You did. I didn't. You did. I didn't. Well, it certainly wasn't me, snapped Ross. It must have been you. It well, the lads me. were so busy arguing, they hadn't noticed bucket, our new friend, you the did. penguin, tucking into the jam tarts they'd oh, made for oh, tea. You did. I didn't. You did. I didn't. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, oh no, I didn't. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. Ah, I got you. At last, Cromarty decided that his need for food was stronger than his need for arguing. Oh, I don't know who knocked over your bucket, Ross. Let's sit down and have our tea. But when they sat down, Cromarty saw that half the tarts were gone. Who's been eating all the tarts? Well, it certainly wasn't me, said Ross. It must have been you. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, yes, you did. I didn't. You did. I didn't. You did. Didn't. You did. Didn't. You did. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, no, they were at it again. Oh, yes, you I did. I could hear their shouting oh, no, right I at the top of the lighthouse oh, where I was polishing the lamp. Oh, oh no, I didn't. I decided oh, yes, I had to put did. a stop to it. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, yes, you did. It wasn't me, cried Ross. But you surely don't think it was me. Oh, yes, you did. Hold on, I said. Drop your anchors. What's all the noise about? Well, firstly, Cromarty knocked over my bucket, and he left dirty footprints all over the place. And... And you ate the tarts we made for tea, and... And... I interrupted. What bird is black and white with dirty, big, great yellow feet, knocks over buckets, and is standing right behind you? Um, said Ross. Standing right behind us. Hmm. Aye, that's a hard one, said Cromarty. Hmm, aye. Oh, we give up. Call yourself bird watchers, I laughed. There's a whopping great penguin right under your very noses, and he's polishing off the last of the jam tarts. <laughs> Some bird watches you are. <laughs> oh, come with me to the rolling sea while the weather's calm and still. And we'll have some fun and laughter with the adventures of Portland Bill. <laughs>